Five. And over at Chrysler, they're talking about the H car, though apparently not very much. What do we know about it, Joyce? I think, John, that the main thing we know is why. Okay, then, tell us why. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Why we're going to be seeing an H car is that Chrysler wants to compete head on with the Honda Accord and the Mazda 626. Boy, that's stiff competition. It certainly is, but Chrysler really wants this H car to attract a younger, more import oriented customer. Now, you know, we do know a few things. We know it's not going to be based on the K-Car chassis, unlike most Chrysler models, and we know it's going to have a different floor pan, and it will use a number of K-Car components. Now, there have been reports that it's going to be larger than a K-Car, but we think that the wheelbase is probably going to fall somewhere around 98 inches, or two inches shorter than the K-Car's 100.3 inches. Now, the Accord's wheelbase is a little shorter, and the 626 is a little longer, and the total length of the H-Car will be in the same range as those two. Now, the big difference in H-Car looks is that it's going to be sleeker. It's going to get away from that boxy K-Car styling, and that's obviously because they're going out for that younger market. So you can look for very European styling in a five-door hatchback to give it that sporty image. Now, the H car will probably have front bucket seats and rear seating for two adults. And the interior will have a floor shifter and a full gauge package. And that's a pretty safe bet because most of this performance package is already available on lots of other sporty Chrysler cars, such as the 600 ES. Now for the engine, we'll find the old, reliable 99 horsepower 2.2 liter in either an automatic or a 5-speed. Now word is that it will also have the strong 142 horsepower turbo 2.2 liter. Now for names, Chrysler has come up with some very tentative names for their offspring. They've come up with the Commander for the Chrysler and the Lancer for the Dodge. And they probably will start being assembled as early as September and then be introduced as slightly late 85 models. That's right. Well, thank you, Joyce. And in the meantime,